Okay, welcome back to another video today. If you have to guess where I am right now by looking at this, can you guess? Yes, we are right now in Gangnam, Seoul. We'll be staying at one of the best IHG, well, the best intercontinental hotel out there. The intercontinental... Wait. <laughs> the intercontinental Grand Panas. So it should be somewhere around here. I know it's actually very close to a very famous mall called uh, Coex, which is right here. So it's a very luxurious mall, but we can check that out later. Right now, let's go and look for the Intercontinental Grand Parnas. Okay, I think we may have found it. So it's just right outside the uh, door 5 of the number 2 line, the subway line, and it's just right here. Welcome to the Intercontinental Hotel Grand Panas. Let's go in and check it out. Welcome to the Intercontinental Grand Panas, where opulence meets unparalleled hospitality. Today, I invite you on a captivating journey through this exquisite hotel, showcasing its remarkable features and its extraordinary experience that awaits. So, let's step into the grandeur of this hotel, where every detail has been meticulously crafted to create a world-class experience for guests from around the globe. Welcome to the 19th floor of the Intercontinental Hotel Grand Panas. This is the lift area. So once you come off the lift, there's a very nice area as you can see. The whole thing just feels, as the name suggests, very grand. Today, we'll be staying at a junior suite at room 1933, which is this way. This hotel opened in 1988 as the HQ Hotel for Seoul Olympics, and it was rebranded to Intercontinental in 1989. It was also voted as the best Intercontinental Hotel in the world in the year 2000. So, a lot of expectations coming from me today. Anyways, let's check out my junior suite now. Looks like we are in the last of the rooms. 1933. Let's check it out. Alright, let's have a look at this particular suite at the Intercontinental Grand Panas. Now, I've stayed in quite a few hotels over the years, but I don't think any of them has been as luxurious as this particular hotel. So let's have a look together. Now coming into the room itself, first you'll see a very very nice living area with a really nice workspace over there. So pretty nice area here, you have a TV right there, beautiful stuff, and you have a couch with a living area here. I really like the wardrobe, it's pretty, it, I don't know if it's Korean, it looks Japanese to me, but it's really beautiful. It's really something else. And there's more storage right here as well. Of course, inside there is a safe, some bathrobes, and an iron there, ironing board there, some hangers there, pretty standard stuff. Moving towards the back, here you have your coffee machines, and it's an espresso coffee machine. You also get some capsules with your coffee machine as well as some tea. Four bottles of water, need a lot of those. And right underneath here is a fully stocked bar. Of course, everything is going to be chargeable in this bar itself. There is also a kettle, some glassware, some sugar, a wine opener, and other things that you have to pay for, such as wine, whiskey, etc. Now let's move to the bedroom. Just look at it and you already know, this is gonna be a very, very comfortable bed. Another TV here with a very short but nice welcome message. There is also a side table with a couch on the side as well. Over here you have more chargers, USB chargers, as well as a port and lights on the side. Let's take the opportunity to look at the view actually. Um, 
I think the view is... It's okay. It's, it's basically a city view. But, again, back to the room. Just amazing. This is an incredible room. I really like the furnishing, the design of the room. Everything is just wonderful. Now, let's check out the toilet. So, the bathroom was actually closed, like this. But, when you want to go in, you can just open this up, and you can come in here. So, there's a his and a her sink, and they use a really, really good branded um, hand wash and body lotion here. There is a weighing scale, enough towel for two people. And right behind you is the toilet itself. So in this drawer, they actually have two sets of dental kit and there is a shaving kit and a uh, random mix of different things kind of kit. So the random kind of mix kind of kit, you get a comb. Um, I think this is used to remove makeup. Uh, hair net, shower cap, shower cap, shower cap, yeah. A nail file at the bottom there. Yep. And the shaving kit is as this. And inside the uh, toothbrush kit is basically a toothbrush. Pretty solid design, as well as a um, dental floss. And there is also a toothpaste. Yep. Basically, this brand of toothpaste. Let's have a look at the shower. So the shower does have a bath as well as a rainfall and a handheld. Again, all of the things is by Barido. I think that's about it. So basically, this is the room at the Intercontinental Hotel Grand Panas where luxury is at its best. We're gonna check out other parts of this hotel and so far everything has been really good, exceeded my expectations. So let's see if other parts of this hotel meets my expectations as well. We're gonna check out the breakfast, the gym and other facilities in this hotel. So let's go! Breakfast is served at the Grand Kitchen every morning. The breakfast experience at the Intercontinental Grand Panas is nothing short of extraordinary. The hotel's chef takes great pride in curating a breakfast spread that caters to every palate and preferences. Whether you're a fan of traditional morning classics or have a passion for international flavors, the Intercontinental Grand Panas has it all. For those seeking a lighter option, the hotel takes great care in presenting an enticing assortment of freshly cut fruits and a variety of healthy cereals, yogurts, and granola. The dining area provides a welcoming and relaxed atmosphere where guests can enjoy their breakfast at their own pace. You can choose to sit indoors surrounded by elegant decor or venture outdoors to savor your meals with a breathtaking view of the city skylines. Albeit it was a bit cold during my stay, uh, it was about negative 2 degrees so indoors it is for me. Alright, let's talk about the on-site amenities, specifically the fitness center. So, interestingly, the fitness club is separated into gentlemen and ladies. Uh, I'm a gentleman, so I would not go to the ladies' side, but the gentleman's side is this way. So you gotta change into these first, but we'll check out the swimming pool and the gym. There's a locker area. Ooh. Indoor swimming pool. Very cool. I guess the Korean people are really, really into health. Um, I did not take a shot of the gym because it was really, really full. Every single equipment was taken up, and by all means, it's not a small gym. It's actually very big. Um, but 
you have a lot of people at the gym they're working out there's a lot of elderly doing uh, aerobics as well so yeah they're all very into fitness there is also a sauna room and a lounge area but uh, that's pretty much about it the swimming pool is actually heated and it's very very warm so I decided to get out from there immediately so the view from the room is this so that is coax and if you can see in the far side there it's our friend the intercontinental coax actually which is connected to the mall just like this hotel here as well so yeah great place to stay so that was the intercontinental hotel grand panas so overall fantastic hotel and i can definitely see why people think this is one of the best intercontinental hotel out there and definitely it could be one of the main reasons why i will come back to seoul again anyways guys i'm in incheon terminal one right now i'm gonna catch my flight i'm not gonna tell you what flight it is so you gotta stay tuned for that and uh yeah please uh, do like this video if you find it helpful and please subscribe to the channel as i'll be bringing you more content such as this flight that i'm going on until next time guys take care